Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we'll have a look at the latest from the live radar run for the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as we have got a massive area of high pressure over the top of us which is going to dominate all of the rest of this week. Now in the south and the east it is dry like it is elsewhere but we have got a bit more cloud around and we could see a bit of drizzle and that drizzle could become a bit more widespread towards the weekend but generally it is very dry the only noticeable thing with this high pressure is that it is actually really quite cold as we are seeing a classic winter inversion taking place where the surface temperatures are a lot colder than the upper air temperatures because of all of the heat and warmth or minimal heat and warmth we get escapes uh, into the atmosphere as we do have clearer skies and this is especially noticeable further north it's less so further southwards because of the slightly thicker cloud uh, but further north is a massive inversion taking place and it has caused the higher ground of Scotland, for example, Cairngorm, being warmer than the sea level, which is highly, highly unusual, which is normally the opposite round. But with an inversion, of course, we're seeing a complete flip in that normal um, temperature trajectory. As we're into the longer range, though, into next week, it does look like it will turn unsettled once again. We will see west and northwesterly winds. It does look like it's not going to be a massive pest from the west mild pattern, but it does look like it will be mainly a westerly flow. And then into the days leading up to Christmas, there could be signs of a change. Nothing too concrete at this stage, but the ECMWF, for example, this evening does show a full blown northerly wind for the few days leading into Christmas and for Christmas Day. And it would deliver snow, it would deliver very very cold conditions so that's very interesting seeing that so we'll check that out in the second half of the video so do remember if you enjoy my videos which do like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link's in description and if you start on the live radar you can see it is bone dry through this evening recording this just after 8 p.m so yeah really not too much going on if you do look at the temperatures uh if we do update them you can see where we've got those clearer skies across scotland and northern ireland you can see it is very cold and this is where the most severe inversion is taking place. Temperatures are exceptionally cold here. But further southwards, it's still chilly. Temperatures still below average, just nowhere near as cold as it is further northwards and westwards. And of course, this is only 8 p.m. Give it another five or six hours, getting towards sort of four or five a.m., it will be exceptionally cold. Now, if you go over to the UKV charts now, for the next five days or so you can see generally through the next few days nothing too much going on a bit of thicker cloud further southwards a few bits of drizzle in the east as well but really not too much going on all the way towards the weekend could see a little bit of a change there a bit more of a northwesterly flow appearing for the weekend with a bit more cloud and rain but generally still not much going on as the high pressure does start to lose uh lose its strength but it still does have a little bit more dominance um, as we head through Sunday. But you can see our weather front is moving into the north, and that will mean that we're likely to see a change into the following week. Now, if you look at the max temperature, you can see overnight tonight, it is very cold. Temperatures widely kind of minus 5 to minus 10. As you head into Wednesday afternoon, you can see it's only 5 to 7 degrees in many southern areas and hardly above freezing further northwards into Thursday. Uh, yeah, temperatures cold once again by the afternoon only seven to nine degrees across much of england and wales further northwards cold once again and those temperatures falling away through the evening less so because of the thicker cloud but still chilly nonetheless and that kind of pattern continues for the rest of the week eventually into the weekend we could just about start to get into the double digits as it does stand slightly milder but at the moment not expecting anything too major on the horizon now, if you have a look at the longer range, the GFS is fairly westerly based into the longer term. You can see the high pressure is in control at the moment, losing its strength through the weekend. And you can see that westerly flow trying to return into next week. Not having too much success initially, but eventually it does break through. And then as we head into the lead up to Christmas, it is generally westerly, perhaps a bit of a break at some point but not no real change hit. Does look fairly succinct. Tropospheric polar vortex around Iceland and Greenland. Expect a flat westerly, oscillating, milder and colder sectors. A classic westerly flow. Not too much 
going on here from the GFS. That would provide a bit of disappointment for most. No chance of any white Christmas or anything remotely festive. <laughs> there will be a lot of wind and rain and up and down temperatures for that Christmas period if this sort of pattern came off. However, this is longer range and other runs do contradict this. If you do check out the latest GM, again, high pressure has been in control, but northwesterly and westerly flow is going to return next week, but still high pressure hanging on for the time being. And towards day 10, we start to see a bit of a mid-Atlantic ridge attempting to build in with some slightly fresher northerly winds. Colder air does move in for a time, but it doesn't look like it's particularly blocked. It's not really locked in. And likely this high pressure will topple once again. So it isn't cold. It's not really too wintry. It probably would still be chilly. So probably still would see frosts. But it's nowhere near similar to the GFS. There's no massive westerly winds pushing in. Look where the tropospheric polar vortex is. It's stretched towards Scandinavia. Whereas the GFS had it stretched down into the mid and north Atlantic. So even though this isn't, you know, a massively cold, snowy blocked pattern, it's very different. And that just, again, conveys the idea that the models are very uh, contradictory for that sort of longer term prospect, that week to five days leading up to Christmas. Now, finally, compared to the ECMWF, which, as I said, is a very cold chart today. Again, we've got high pressure in control, that westerly flow breaking through into next week, similar to the other runs. Doesn't fully get going, though. We don't ever fully see a bit of Atlantic onslaught, which, again, contradicts the GFS massively and eventually into the longer term. As we head into the days leading up to Christmas, high pressure pulls away towards Greenland and we pull in this very strong northerly wind and it does go very cold. Upper air temperatures, minus 5 to minus 10, would likely see lots of snow. And this is Christmas Day. Temperatures hardly above freezing. Ice day here for Christmas Day. Dew points well below freezing and snow showers piling in. So that would be an intriguing Christmas. Would be seeing very cold north to northeasterly winds, uh, and yet yeah, would uh, would be yeah, would be a uh, probably be a white Christmas for many. So we'll have to see exactly how it does play out. But the one thing we can say for certainty is none of the runs agree from sort of day seven and beyond. It's kind of middle next week. None of the runs really agree. They all agree that a westerly wind will break out in sort of varying degrees of strength. But what happens after that, who really knows? We'll have to wait and see what the models show. But East of Earth, definitely the most intriguing run with this bitterly cold northerly wind for the lead up to Christmas and including Christmas. Now, if you look at the latest GFS ensembles, you can see it's very varied over the next week to a couple of weeks. You can see generally hovering around average, below average, slightly above at times, a bit more of a below average trend there to lead up to Christmas. Again, could be signs of something a bit colder, but generally no distinct signal, just very undulating, which does give me the impression that we haven't really got a locked in pattern here, which kind of means it could go anyway. Um, so if you are looking for a cold Christmas, it does mean that the possibility is still there. The models have not really concentrated on an option. If we were going to see a massive cold blocked pattern, we'd expect to see some rumblings in the coming days. So more runs like that ECMWF. But, you know, we'll have to wait and see about that. But at the same time, if you're don't want anything cold you don't want any disruption you don't want any snow nothing at all and you don't mind it being a bit wet and windy it, it it could go that way as well if you look at the two meter temperatures one thing is it's not going to be particularly mild in the next couple of weeks even with those milder sectors moving in they're going to be temporary probably with mid wind and rain so not looking particularly mild at all mostly mid single digits here for london and then finally, if we compare it to the ECMWF, the midday run hasn't come out yet. But if we do look at the midnight run, very similar, very up and down, actually following very similar trajectories. And again, a slight downwards trend towards the lead up to Christmas. But you see, even here, precipitation isn't massive. 18th to 20th, a little bit. But generally, I'm not expecting anything too crazy in the near to medium future. It is just going to be one to watch. ECMWF, intriguing today. But you see, it's not got massive support 
at this stage. We'll just have to, to wait and see, because of course we've not really seen a proper white Christmas for many, many years. We've seen colder spells in the weeks leading up to Christmas, we've seen colder spells into the new year, we've seen generally chilly weather around Christmas, a bit of transient snow, but no sort of proper colder period intersecting with that Christmas period. Uh, and I know a lot of people would quite enjoy that. You know, being able to stay at home, look at snow out in the garden or out uh, out on the road, you know, it, it, it can be uh, can be pretty festive. But we'll have to wait and see. Uh, and at the moment, uh, very mixed signals. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you again for another video soon.